What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hi, I have my Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet, a tablet that's uh, really great. I think it's an amazing value. And one of the things that it's missing is because it's running a reskin or an Amazon skin version of Android is the Google Play Store. And I think once you have the Google Play Store and an Amazon Fire tablet, it is really uh, amazing because the, the Fire tablets are such a good deal. Uh, but once you have that Google Play Store, you can really kind of put any productivity tool, any app that you want on it, and that makes it uh, this much better. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually try to install the Google Play Store on this HD 10. I will put the four links that you need to do it if we're successful in the description below. And so hopefully uh, we'll get through this and find out it works and not that it doesn't. Now first one, the fr and, and this is the process that I would recommend doing it, downloading them and installing them uh, one by one and kind of go through it. Now the first one you'll need is the Google Account Manager APK. And so it'll take you to this website and you just scroll down here and you hit this download APK green button and it should pop up. It should say that it's downloading. It's gonna give me a little prompt. You know, I wanna say that that's okay. And it says it's got it, so I'm gonna click open. And then you're gonna hit next, next, next down here to scroll through all these instructions. And then there's gonna be an install button down there, which I just tapped and it should just install it right away. Um, takes just a second here, we're gonna hit done. And uh, then I'm gonna go back to my uh, links here. Then we're gonna install the Google Services Framework APK. You're just gonna click on that. And then again, scroll down here to the download APK. And that should uh, go, 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 down, down, download. We'll get a prompt again that it might not be safe. We're gonna tap it to open, and then I'm gonna hit next, and then install right there, and it should do its thing. We're gonna hit done, and then you're gonna follow the uh, third link, which should be the Google Play Services APK, and um, you sh this one should just be the same thing. We're gonna scroll down here, download APK, and it should take a minute here. Okay. Come on, baby. I think this is the bigger the bigger file. Still saying download up there. And then we're gonna open it. Again, I get a really long uh, disclaimer, install. This one takes just a smidge or a hair longer. Hit done here. Now, I may have edited that because uh, it kind of took a little while for that Google Play Services APK to install. Um, so if it's taking a while, just understand that that's how it is. Then we're gonna do the Google Play Store APK. Um, and again, the same thing here. And uh, one thing is I'm downloading this the same exact way. I will tell you that once it puts the Google Play Store icon on the tablet, I've noticed that sometimes it's kind of going out and fetching like updates to it. And so you'll see the icon change. What I've noticed is that it's kind of used an earlier version of the Google Play Store icon, and then it kind of updates as, as you let it <laughs> marinate there for a couple minutes. Go ahead and click open and next and install. Um, and so I think it's just, that's just what it's doing. It's kind of installing uh, the oldest Google Play Store and it's updating it. So do give it a minute or two to uh, kind of let it uh, run. And then when you do tap on it the first time, it asks you to log in with your Gmail account. But I've noticed that on that launch, sometimes that can take a minute or two. And some people have even said that they need to reboot their Amazon Fire tablet. That's done. And so let's just go ahead now. We've installed all four of them. And let's just go back to the main screen here. And you can see there, we have the Google Play Store icon. And this is what I'm talking about, um, that it's it's this icon. Now, I don't know if that's the latest one, but I have noticed, I think it goes to a black icon uh, if you kind of just let it sit there or kind of let it run. Now, I'm gonna just tap it here and open it up. And this is the, the screen that sometimes it takes a little while to, to get through. But on mine, this just came up, and maybe that's just because the, te uh, the HD 10 is a little faster. So you just log in here, and then you can get into the Google Play Store and download apps. You know, I, it, there are a ton of them here that I don't have, like YouTube and Facebook and Wonderlist and all of those. So it uh, just makes this tablet that much better. So I think you can do it in under a few minutes and get this sucker running, but at least it appears that you can install the Google Play Store on an HD 10, the first time I've tried it. Uh, check out the four links in the description below to do this. And uh, I'll also put a link to the HD 10 so you can pick one up on Amazon. Because uh, if it's been holding you back that it hasn't had Google Play Store access, well, buy away. Buy away, my friends. Peter Von Pand out.